assalamu alaikum students today we are going to start our new topic which is about contribution of muslim biologist in the field of biology okay today we will do our copy work and i will explain it also our question is write down the contribution of muslim biologists in the field of biology our question is write down the contribution of muslim biologists in the field of biology our question is write down the contribution of muslim biologists in the field of biology our main heading is contribution of muslim biologists and our first biologist is jabir ibn hayyan which is our side heading point number 1 he wrote a book al nabatat on plants point number 2 he wrote a book al haywan on animals our second biologist is abdul malik asmai point number 1 he was regarded as a specialist of his time point number 2 he wrote many books like al khil on horses al ibl on camel al bahush about wild animals asha on sheep khalaqul insan on human beings our next biologist is ali ibn raban tubri point number 1 he was the scholar of philosophy zoology psychology and astronomy point number 2 He wrote Firdausul Hikma on philosophy, astronomy, and zoology. Our next biologist is Abu Usman Umar Al Jahiz. He describes life systems of ants. Number two, he wrote Al Haywan, which describes characteristics of three fifty species. especially about life of ants he worked on actually he worked on uh, ants chutiyan theek hai al haywan mein unhone 350 species yani kinds uh, ants ki kinds ke bare mein unhone bataya now our next biologist is al farabi point number 1 he was a famous hakeem of islamic world point number 2 he wrote books kitab e nabatat and kitab e hawanat actually he was not a doctor he was a hakim of islamic world and he wrote two books which are kitab e nabatat about uh, about plants and kitab e hawanat it is about animals now our next biologist is abul qasim al zahar zahrawi point number 1 he was renowned surgeon of islamic world point number 2 he was famous for removing stones from urinary bladder next biologist is bu ali sina point number 1 he was considered as founder of medicine point number 2 he was a doctor philosopher scientist astronomer and poet point number 3 he wrote books like al kanun and fil tib al shifa our next biologist is ibnul hatam point number 1 he was first optician and corrected the concept of vision point number 2 he explained the phenomena of vision point number 3 he wrote books like kitabul manasir and mizanul hikma actually ibnul hatam works on optical vision he corrected the concept of vision and he explained how we see by our eyes okay he wrote two books which are kitabul manasir and mizanul hikma now our next biologist is zauddin ibn better point number 1 he was famous botanist point number 2 he observed and studied about many species of plant 
Our next biologist is Ibn al-Nafis. He was the first to describe the process of blood circulation in human body. Human body mein blood kis tarah circulate karta hai? Ye hume Ibn al-Nafis ne bataya. Biologist is Ali Ibn Isa. Point number one. He was well known eye specialist of his time. Point number two, he described 130 eye diseases in his three volumes of books. Our next biologist is Kamaluddin Al Dimri. He compiled a book, Hayat Al Hayawan, which deals with the characteristics of thousand kinds of animals. Now, our next biologist is Abdul Qasim Majriti. He is especially known in Europe for his books on animal species.